the mission of our school is really to prepare our scholars to be uh, agents or catalysts of social change, right? And so in order for us to prepare them to do that, we need to lead by example. So it's not just enough for us uh, as a school to cater just to our families when there's a wider community around us that is also in need. Essentially, the last year of school uh, on campus re was really March 12th. And so we really knew that starting the following week, we needed to be able to continue to serve our families. This has really shown, I guess, just like the disparity in the amount of support that some students have. So like there are some students who have a tremendous amount of parental support. So they're literally logging on to the Google Hangouts every day that we have class. The parents are emailing me, what's the code, this, that, and the other thing. And even though I was still offering support during the school year, it wasn't as I've had to rethink what accountability looks like now because even though it is important for them to be learning, there's also things that are bigger than just them learning about world history right now. Basically just getting them, you know, to get up and actually, you know, be engaged into the virtual learning, actually, you know, monitoring through the computer. So it's a change, but also it's great learning for us because we have learned so many new vast ways to teach our scholars on a day-to-day -day basis now virtually through technology. With that being said, I was I was able to just understand their situations, understand their circumstances, and be able to really get to know them as a family a little bit more through communication and just getting to understand who they are as individuals. Uh, we have, have 125 uh, parents that comes out to our bus stops on a weekly basis. We prepare their breakfast and lunch for them, and, and overall it's been a great uh, success with the parents coming out and getting everything for the students. It seems to me that they're doing more, the teachers are um, doing more for the students, reaching out to the students, having virtual meetings, um, you know, once a week or every two weeks, at least trying to put some of the normalcy back into the students' lives. Um, you don't get to you know, see that a child is not feeling well that day. Right. You don't get a chance to, to feel their energy the same way you would in the classroom environment. And I think that that's probably one of the greatest challenges that, you know, just not, not just myself, but all of us are feeling. We, we, miss our, we, miss our, we miss our kids, we miss our students. Um, so we just really try to make sure whether it's through us or through some of our community-based partners that we're providing the available resources to our families because it is um, uncertain times. And um, whatever our families are going through, know that all of us are going through that as well. However, we will get through this together.